three, if an investment offers an increase of 7% per year, what multiplier would you use to represent the increase? Well, just like the last question, you've got to sort of consider your initial investment to sort of represent the whole amount that you start with, which is 100%. And then, of course, we're going to add on 7%. Okay, because it's an increase, so you then get a higher amount by working out what this is. You get, of course, 107%. That would be applied then after one year or however many years you need it. Now, we can change this then to be a multiplier, just change it to be a decimal. So 107 divided by 100 will be 1.07, okay? Now, part B, it says, if an iPhone decreases in price at a rate of 4% per year, what multiplier would you use to represent the decrease? And then, hence, use your answer to determine the price of an £800 iPhone in one year's time. Well, this time, you've got to pay attention there to be the fact there's a decrease. So, again, if we think about our initial price, okay, the whole amount to start with is 100%. And then, of course, we're going to lose some value in our phone, okay? In price, we're going to lose 4%. So the price is going to be reduced, okay? And by 4%. So whereas initially 100% of the value, now it's dropped. So now we've got 96% of the value. Change it then to a decimal, okay? For a multiplier. So we get 0 0.96. So there's my multiplier there says then hence use your answer to work out the price well you just take the 800 pounds and then you do what this is meant to do you meant to use it as a multiplier okay so you can do 800 times 0.96 and on my calculator I get 768 pounds